already did the exam, so you can find how to do an evening exam on another video. But uh, just make sure that you have all your supplies ready before you get the slip and fluid. So gloves, um, a patient, a towel for restraint, a restrainer, and then um, butterfly and uh, the appropriate volume of slip and fluid. So weigh the weigh your bird on the scale. It, it'll be the body weight um, times 2.5 to 5% of their body weight. So this guy's 70 grams. So that works out to be about um, 7.5 mils of fluid. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to do it in the anal uh, fold of the leg. So Jess is going to restrain the bird now. And pigeons do better on their back. They can actually go into a torpor on their back. So they can be a bit more relaxed and just cover his head. And then Jess is going to hold the upper body. Never restrain the bird too tightly on the chest. They don't have a diaphragm, and so it's easy to smother them. You don't want to do that. No. And then she's going to use her other hand to manipulate the legs. So the inguinal fold is just betwixt here. And you can see it's on this drumstick. This mm -hmm. little that's flappy that's area cool. here. And that's where we're going to aim. Okay? I'm going to take the butterfly here. I'm just going to hold the leg and hope this goes smoothly. So the bird skin is really thin, so it's quite easy to go through and through. Over there. And I'm just going to do half of the volume into each little leggy here. So I'm drawing back to make sure I'm not uh, through or I'm in the right place. I'm looking for negative pressure, which I'm getting. So I'm going to go ahead and start administering it. And then you should be able to see it starts to form a bleb, a little pocket of fluid there. Perfect. And while I'm administering um, approximately three mils, I, I'm also keeping a visual eye that it's not going to get too big. So I don't want it to explode be uncomfortable. It's actually getting pretty taunt, so I might just stop there, but only a little bit more. So that's pretty taunt, so I'm going to stop there, uh, and then I'm going to pinch so it doesn't leak. And then, well, it's basically the same procedure for the next uh, limb, so I won't go through that on the video, but that's the general idea there, and then um, that should be staying overnight, so that should hopefully help keep him hydrated overnight, and then while they're come pick him up in the morning.